Hello everyone. As we close out January, I wanted to take a moment to look back and recognize some of our accomplishments from the past year. 2023 was a time of transition from a new administration in Maryland to a post-pandemic world. The change has brought a new vision of services and programs which aims to leave no Marylander behind. I am proud to work alongside you to improve the health and well-being of our residents. Here are just a few of the successes and highlights of the past year. The General Assembly passed the Healthy Babies Equity Act in 2022 to provide comprehensive prenatal and postpartum coverage for people who would have otherwise been eligible for Medicaid, but for their citizenship status. We estimated that 6,000 pregnant individuals would obtain needed maternal health care, but we enrolled more than 6,700 people in just the first six months. We partnered with Upstream, a nonprofit organization, to expand contraceptive access in primary care settings. We've also secured mifepristone and misoprostol uh, to make sure there's access to abortion care and make sure there's also quality reproductive health services. The Developmental Disabilities Administration made great strides in our efforts to transition our provider universe from a legacy billing system into Maryland's long-term services and support system, also known as LTSS Maryland. Our regional offices worked with each provider to make sure their transition went smoothly. We look forward to all providers being converted to the new system by September. The DDA and its partners also celebrated the first anniversary of Maryland's designation as a technology first state, which marks our state's commitment to embracing assistive and remote technologies to empower people with disabilities to live, work, and play in their communities. In 2023, we celebrated the grand reopening of Cottage 2 at the John L. Gilner Regional Institute for Children and Adolescents in Rockville adding 12 beds and increasing treatment capacity for adolescents who are experiencing emotional, behavioral, and learning difficulties. This is the first building for the MDH healthcare system that has been constructed to support high-intensity youth who need extra resources that may not always be available in the typical residential treatment and center environment. The Office of Communications developed our video and digital capabilities in 2023 thanks to funding from a CDC infrastructure grant through public health, we've assisted several units in creating powerful, effective multimedia content while utilizing social media channels more effectively. The Vaccinate, Prevent, Protect campaign, which launched in October, was the first MDH marketing campaign developed and designed entirely in-house with media placement carried out by our state partners at Maryland Public Television. 2023 was a great year marked by several successes for the MDH team working on the 988 crisis hotline system in Maryland. The Behavioral Health Administration was awarded four grants totaling over $6.1 million. This funding allowed Maryland to add a ninth call center to the Maryland 988 system, have the capacity to answer the 22% increase in call volume, and implement 24-7, 365 text and chat coverage for 988 in Maryland. I'm excited about our success in 2023, creating the Sheila E. Hickson Behavioral Health Services Matching Grant Program for service members and veterans. This year, we will award up to $2.4 million in matching grant funds for nonprofit organizations to establish and expand community behavioral health programs for service members, veterans, and their families. One of our great achievements in 2023 was launching the Strengthening Families in Recovery Program to support pregnant and parenting individuals recovering from substance and opioid use disorders. This pilot program will enroll up to 750 women and support them with recovery support coordinators, pregnant parenting women navigators, and family support coaches to help them navigate administrative barriers. We are committed to rebuilding the state's workforce. In 2023, we held our first job fair in several years strengthened academic partnerships to build recruitment pipelines, and expanded our social media campaigns to attract more staff. Last fall, we also launched the Public Health Workforce Development Internship Program. In the inaugural year of the program, MDH has hosted 91 interns from over 25 universities. As of November 2023, at least five of those interns had been hired by MDH as full-time staff. In 2023, Deers Head Hospital Center celebrated 73 years of providing exceptional long-term acute care, 
long-term care, dialysis, lab facilities, physical rehab, and a host of other services to our community here on the Eastern Shore and across Maryland. We serve people who literally have nowhere else to go, providing a safety net for the most vulnerable populations in our community. We are the only five diamond dialysis facility in the area and one of only a few Center for Medicare and Medicaid Services five-star long-term care facilities in the region. Once again, thank you for all your hard work and let's continue the success in 2024 so we leave no Marylander behind.